Hey everyone, it's Shane with LPKF and I'm here today with Morella Orlovsky. Morella's an electrical engineer and she's in charge of sales for our UV laser to paneling systems for PCBs. Morella, I asked you to come on today because you shared with me a podcast called Board Talk. And the Assembly Brothers gave this podcast and they were talking about methods for depanelizing PCBs and which ones were unacceptable in regards to mechanical stress. Now mechanical stress is an issue, so I want you to talk about why minimizing mechanical stress is so important. Mechanical stress is a big issue in the world of the paneling because boards are getting smaller and smaller, which means that now you have much less real estate on top of the board to place your components, which in turn forces you to put your components really close to the edge. So if you are trying to depanel that board with some sensitive components, let's say maybe ceramic capacitors really close to the edge, you really have to think of what kind of the paneling method you're going to use in order not to damage those parts. Gotcha. So I wanted to ask you about some of the methods for depaneling PCBs. And the first one I wanted to mention, which was brought up in the podcast, is the Assembly Brothers had mentioned they had a client who was basically karate chopping <laughs> their uh, PCBs. So talk a little bit about maybe not necessarily karate chopping, but hand breaking as a method for depanelizing PCBs and a type of mechanical stress it causes. The reason that hand breaking or hand cutting uh, can impose a lot of stress on the board is because you are actually taking a board that's previously been either scored down to some sort of a smaller thickness uh, or you're taking a pre-routed board that only has tabs or mouse bites left and you're physically breaking the tabs or mouse bites and separating the, the parts uh, that way. Because you're flexing the board quite a bit, uh, you're naturally inducing stress on the board. So if you have any sort of sensitive components, even you know, close to the edge or on the board itself, or at least close to the area that you're flexing, naturally you're, um, you're imposing quite a bit of mechanical stress. Exactly, and if we had a theoretical scale of mechanical stress, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the meter would be quite at full for a hand breaking. Yeah, for this one, you know, if you're looking for a method that will minimize stress, do not use this one because the meter would definitely be all the way in the red. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so the next method I wanted to bring up is die punching. And in a roundabout sort of way, die punching <laughs> is almost like cookie cutting. So talk a little bit about the type of mechanical stress that is imposed when you die punch. Shane, I actually really like your analogy where you're comparing the cookie cutting to die punching because a die can sort of be viewed as a large, sophisticated cookie cutter. So your die will be shaped like your panel with all of the part outlines in it. And you would actually take the die and put it down on your panel and separate the parts that way. Because you need a specific amount of force, as you can imagine, to do that in order to separate all of the parts, there's some mechanical stress that's induced on the, on the part. So let's bring back up our theoretical scale of mechanical stress. And so while this one is not as extreme as, um, you know, hand breaking or karate chopping, it's still pretty high for die punching. So die punching is not necessarily as bad as hand breaking because you're not flexing the board only in one area. But I would say, you know, if we're depending on the same board here, it's still on the high end. So the third method I wanted to bring up when it comes to mechanical stress is a fairly popular method, and that's routing. So why don't you talk about the type of stress routing imposes. Yeah, so routing is a really popular method and pretty widespread in, in the paneling today. The reason that routing causes mechanical stress is simply because here you're using an actual tool, which is a bit. So it is causing some vibration while you're going around your board. The amount of this vibration really depends on the type of material you're cutting and the thickness of that material. So, you know, the mechanical stress induced on the board can really vary. However, if you're looking at uh, depending on a board with components really close to the edge, it's also not a great solution because you need to have some clearance from the edge of the board you know, to your channel, the paneling channel, if you will. So while routing is not necessarily as high on our theoretical scale of mechanical stress as karate chopping or die punching, <laughs> It's still up there, right? Yeah, definitely. So if you're looking for a method that has no mechanical stress or really low mechanical stress, routing would not be ideal for you. So as Shane mentioned, even though it's not very high, maybe in that red area, um, there is still quite a bit of mechanical stress induced on the board. So it will kind of be maybe towards the middle or you know a little bit below it. Gotcha. So if we're trying to eliminate mechanical stress, so far the three options we have have been a strikeout. 
Now, if you're gonna to talk to me and say, how do you fully eliminate mechanical stress? It means you gotta get, gotta get rid of tools, which to me means I'm whipping out my lightsaber <laughs> and I'm just going to town on that thing. But <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have lightsabers yet, so what's an alternative? It's funny you should say that, Shane, because we actually have a version of a lights lifesaver on the market today, and it's a laser. So lasers are uh, more widely used um, for the paneling today because they practically cause no mechanical stress on the board. Because what you're doing is you're taking your panel, placing it on a table in the laser machine, and you're using a virtual tool, which in this case is a laser beam, to go around and separate your, par your parts from the panel. So because you're not touching the panel in any way physically, there is no stress that's induced on the board. So if we bring back up our theoretical scale of mechanical stress one last time, you can see that actually mechanical stress has been eliminated and we're essentially on empty. Yeah, exactly. So now we're in the beautiful green area and there's no mechanical st stress to speak of. So if your goal is to find the method you know, of the paneling your boards uh, that eliminates mechanical stress completely, lasers are definitely a way to go. Thanks, Marilla, and uh, thanks everyone for watching today. If you'd like more information on UV laser to paneling for PCBs, go ahead and click the link right down there. Um, Marilla, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you.